Today I'm going to show you how to replace your clutch master cylinder if your clutch pedal stays all the way down to the floor. And it doesn't return. First thing you want to do is remove the air intake tube. Start with this one. Just lift it up, disengage it. Set it aside. Then unclip this one right here. And then this tube. If it has a hose on it, just unclip it. Remove this. Next, disconnect the battery. You want to start with the negative first, then the positive. Now to remove the battery out of the vehicle, remove the bolt and the clamp hole in the battery. And remove the battery out of the vehicle. Now before you remove the air filter box out of the vehicle, disconnect the mass airflow sensor by pressing on the clip up here. Right at the top, right by the wires, just press in and remove the connector. Then remove it from here. Reach on the knees, push it out and set it aside. We're going to leave this attached to the vehicle, we're just going to disconnect it from here. Now loosen the clamp, 10 millimeter. And disconnect the tube. You just swing it up and just leave it there. Now you want to loosen the clamp for the hose. Use an 8 millimeter. And then pull the holes off. Remove the air box out of the vehicle. Lift it and pull it out. Disconnect the vent hose from the transmission. Disconnect the clutch master cylinder rod from the clutch pedal. Now before you disconnect the master cylinder lines, place a oil cash can under the vehicle so you, so you catch any fluid that runs down from the master cylinder when you disconnect the hose and when you disconnect the line over here. Now to remove this tube from the clutch master cylinder, lift this clip to engage it in the open position.
Once the lock's in place, pull the hose off. And just turn it so it's a little bit out of the way. Then grab the clutch master cylinder and twist it clockwise. Once you hear disengage, pull it forward. You have the hose, disconnect the clutch master cylinder, hose of the brake master cylinder. Then pull it out of the vehicle. Now to install the clutch master cylinder, first thing you want to do is make sure the hose is facing this way. And fit the hole behind the brake booster. Then reach across the other side of the brake booster. Gonna have to work your hand in there. Just grab the hose and then pull it through. Then you want to make sure the the hose sits level and just plug it in. Then take the clutch master cylinder, pull it through the firewall. Then when the hose goes into the clutch master cylinder, you want to turn it around one o'clock. You're going to fill it lock in and then just turn it counterclockwise. Once it's straight up, Check, make sure it's locked in place. Then reinstall the tube into the clutch master cylinder. Once you sit it in, just press down on the clamp to lock it in place. Make sure it's locked. And reinstall the clutch master cylinder rod to the clutch pedal. Just lift it back, bring the pedal to it, get it on, and just snap it in place. Just make sure it's locked in place. Now that you got the clutch master cylinder rod right installed on the clutch pedal. Now right below where the battery is and this fuse box right at the transmission you're gonna see the clutch master cylinder to the clutch slay cylinder. The bleeder tube. Now what you want to do this clip right here you want to press down. And when you're holding the tube and pressing down on the clip, you want to pull, pull it back. It is, it is locked all the way in. And there's a second locking position right about here. So this is going to move like a quarter inch back. You do not want to disconnect the hose. So you want to press down and you want to pull it back while pressing on the, on the clip. You're going to see it move back and it's going to clip in place and then just make sure it doesn't pull out. If it doesn't pull out, it's on the second clip, clutch master cylinder bleeding position. Once you set the clutch master cylinder to the bleeding position and then add brake fluid past the fill line. Just put the cap back on to keep any dirt from falling in. Let it gravity flow. 
you're going to see the fluid start coming out. And while the fluid is slowly coming out, you want to get a, a clean dry hose with a quarter inch opening. You want about two to three foot, just enough to plug it in down there. You want long enough so you can connect it and the other end you want to put it inside brake fluid. And install the hose. Just make sure it fits not. Just get a clean dry container and you want to add like maybe a quarter on this container, probably a quarter of brake fluid. Now take the container and the hose, make sure the hose is dry and clean. Install in the container. You don't want the hose to suck any air up when you bleed in it. You want the hose to be fully submerged into brake fluid. Press it down. Bring it up, press it down. Just keep doing this. Do this at least 20 times just to make sure you get all the air bubbles out. Reach in and lock it in place. Once you do that, remove the hose. And put the cap back on. When you're bleeding the clutch master cylinder, just make sure you keep the fluid above this line. And then press it down. And just keep going. You'll, you'll start feeling resistance. Pull the pedal back and forth at least 20 more times. If the pedal doesn't return and you don't feel no pressure, just repeat the process. Now when you reinstall the air filter housing, you want to make sure you engage it here first and then just put it down on here. And then connect the air tube into the throttle body. And then tie down the air tube to the throttle body clamp. Once you got the air tube tight, install this, this briefer tube. And tie it down. Now when you turn down the clamp for the for the air intake tube to the throttle body and the clamp for this vent tube to the to the air intake tube make sure you don't over tighten you just want you want them snug down that's it now take the, the bottom part and 
plug it into the transmission. Now where the battery goes, that's the positive battery cable, right between the upper radiator hose. If you look in there, you see that tap, put in the, the hose. And then the upper part of the hose is gonna go on that tube that comes towards the front. Now install the battery back on the vehicle. Make sure it's under the clamp. So when you install the clamp on the other side, the battery is locked down. And then install the positive cable first. And tie it down. Then install the negative cable. Now when you install the battery hold down clamp, it will probably be easy if you come from underneath the fuse box. Set it in place and tie it out. You got it tied down just make sure the battery is tight plug in the mass airflow sensor and snap the cable in its place right here install the first part of the tube from the air filter housing the round part goes there and take the front lock it in place and lock the tabs and the other tube is gonna go in there and up here On the bottom on the top, before you put it down, just press down. And then just connect it. Make sure if the positive battery cable has a cap, put it back on. Once you get that done, clean your mask, clean the brake fluid, because brake fluid is pretty corrosive to the car paint. Before you road test it, check the brake master cylinder fluid. Make sure it's all filled all the way. And then go for a road test. Once you complete that and everything is clean, that's how you change the clutch master cylinder on this Nissan Versa.